but the rhetoric is on both sides. It's it's coming from the right, the rhetoric, it's coming from the, the left. The rhetoric, they have tried to kill this man twice, okay? All the things they say that are totally fabricated to me, it would be a good day to stop doing that. The Democrat media is out there. It can't be bargained with. It can't be reasoned with. It doesn't feel pity or remorse or fear. And it absolutely will not stop ever until you are dead. It doesn't seem real, but there have now been two attempts to take Trump out before this election. And anybody could have predicted, but I've been saying it for years. If you truly believe, like the media and the Democrats and other of our institutions have been saying for years now, that Donald Trump is literally Hitler and an existential threat to the country that's going to end the Constitution if he gets power, if you truly, truly believe that, then it is your patriotic duty to take action. There is nothing like that happening on the Republican side. And so anytime there's political violence against Republicans, the media launches into this narrative that it's happening on both sides. But today, Scott Jennings wasn't having it when the CNN host tried to deflect or diminish what's going on by claiming that the rhetoric is happening on both sides. Uh, but, but the rhetoric is on both sides. It's, it's coming from the right, the rhetoric, it's coming from the, the left. The rhetoric, they have tried to kill this man twice, okay? He, he got shot in the ear and this guy was sitting up shop outside of a golf course to try to kill him this weekend. And I know it, I know after something like this happens, it's very fashionable to you know talk about rhetoric on both sides. Donald Trump is the target, okay? He's the current target, and it's happening, and it's happened again. And I just, I, honestly, we, we have to have a conversation about elections. If you lose an election, the country's not going to come to an end, okay? Trump is an enemy of the United States. The Republican Party is basically a domestic terrorist cell at this point, and they should be treated as such. I, I'm not being incendiary when I say this. I've been saying this for a long time, Stephanie. There is no Republican Party. They're a dime store front for a terrorist organization. If you had to be stuck in an elevator with either President Trump, Mike Pence, or Jeff Sessions, who would it be? <laughs> Does one of us have to come out alive? <laughs> <laughs> Most importantly, and I mean this from the bottom of heart, Trump is a threat to this nation. Trump is a existential, urgent threat to our democracy. It is just uh, uh, unquestionable at this point that that man cannot see public office again. He is destructive to our democracy, uh, and he has to be uh, he has to be eliminated. What I want Democrats to do, honestly, is to say. It's okay. Like, if, if Donald Trump wins, democracy will not end. The Constitution will not end. We're not going to live in a dictatorship. There will not be a bloodbath. All the things they say that are totally fabricated to me, it would be a good day to stop doing that. Yeah, good luck with that. Yes, it is just so maddening that the media is really trying to pass on this narrative that... It's really an issue on both sides. And uh, really, the Trump uh, campaign and Republicans are the ones that need to tone down the rhetoric. And you've seen a lot of that. But the fact of the matter is, two people now have tried to take out Donald Trump before the election. And before that, the weaponized DOJ has been trying to imprison him based on completely trumped up charges that have never been brought against anybody before and never will be after this. The truth is that because of the media and Democrats, regular people out there, half this country, need to be deprogrammed because they believe a pile of lies about Donald Trump. Things based on quotes that the media purposely took out of context, completely made up fake stories, and this insane heated rhetoric about Donald Trump being literally Hitler, Mao Zedong, Putin, Stalin, Lenin, all combined into one. And if he gets power, it's not going to just end the country, but it'll end the earth because he's going to pull out a climate agreement. Jennings is absolutely correct. Something needs to be done about the media and especially Democrats like Hakeem Jeffries, who get on Twitter every day and propagandize about the extreme MAGA Republicans and how they're essentially terrorists that are terrorizing the country. Another thing I want you to think about before I end this video is that you got guys like Crooks and Roth out there who are willing to go out there and actually try to murder Donald Trump so that they can have the election end in their favor. And these people are driven by the rationalization in their head, the justification that they're somehow saving democracy by doing that. Well, I got news for you. There's a lot of people out there like that who believe like that. And you know where a lot of them are? They're in the DOJ. They're in the Secret Service. They're in the IRS. They're in the FBI. They're in the CIA. And these people have been working to take down Donald Trump ever since he first got elected. And 
I'm afraid that they're not going to stop until he is dead. They're definitely not going to let him take the White House if he wins the election. They'll find some way, somehow, of keeping him out of there. And we've already heard Democrats and people in the media uh, speculating on what that might be. So when we talk about the actual threat to democracy and who the actual enemy of the people is, I think that we can all clearly see now who that is. And I think it's very important that we all go out there in November and we vote for Donald Trump because if these people retain power after all of this, then they're just going to see that as a mandate to keep doing it and do more and push further. And I promise you that if they do get power again, they're going to get rid of the Electoral College and abolish filibusters. And they're going to stack the courts so that they have control of the Supreme Court and then that'll be every institution and they will never lose control. That's what's at stake right now. So keep that in mind. Try to keep it in mind for the next couple months as we get to November because I'm telling you right now, it's not going to let up and it's almost certainly going to get worse. All right, folks, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, please hit that like button, subscribe, and make sure to keep checking back for more because I don't post on a daily basis necessarily, but I do post on a regular basis. So keep checking back for more. Thanks.